Despite the honorable intentions of the cause, it's essential to consider that protests should not infringe on the rights of others or disturb vital community services. This incident highlights the intricate equilibrium between the right to protest and the preservation of public order. It spurs critical questions about how societies should deal with peaceful protests, especially those addressing universal issues like climate change. The ongoing debate surrounding Thunberg's arrest attests to the complexities of maneuvering civil disobedience and striving for systemic change. In the aftermath of Thunberg's arrest, public disapproval swept London streets. As she was led to the police van, many voices resounded, supporters chanting, we stand with Greta and climate justice now. However, dissenting voices were heard among the supportive cries, some onlookers protesting, go home Greta and stop disrupting our city. The mixture of support and disagreement further stressed the dichotomy of public opinion surrounding Thunberg's arrest and climate activism's societal impact. Amid the chaotic reactions, another voice resonated, sarcastically welcoming the young activist. A distant shout from the crowd echoed, Welcome to London, Greta. The remark's tone was ironic and striking, merging into the vibrant concert of diverse perspectives that held the city captive that day. While it's accepted that some perceive Greta Thunberg's arrest as justified, it's crucial to remember that protest is a core right in many societies, including the UK, often serving as a vital catalyst for change. Individuals have the right to voice their views and battle for their beliefs. Just as some were frustrated by the disruption caused by the protest, others praised Thunberg for her fortitude and unwavering commitment to combating climate change. This contentious issue underscores the complexity of balancing public order and freedom of expression in democratic societies. The incident involving Greta Thunberg has stimulated a wide range of political opinions. Supporters of climate activism see Thunberg's arrest as a blatant violation of the right to protest, hailing her dedication to the environment and her courage to confront the establishment for a cause that affects us all. Conversely, critics stress the importance of maintaining public order and argue that protest methods should not disrupt the rights and daily lives of others. Both viewpoints originated in democratic principles, freedom of expression and the rule of law. Undeniably, this incident highlights the diverse political thought and the contentious nature of finding consensus on balancing public order and the right to protest. In the wake of the arrest, the British legal system acted swiftly. Thunberg was charged with violating public order regulations, and a court date was set. The quick response of the legal authorities emphasized their dedication to enforcing the law, regardless of the individual's global status. This decision, although in line with the rule of law, further ignited the debate on the legitimacy of charges against peaceful protesters and the appropriateness of the legal response to acts of civil disobedience. The pending court appearance of Greta Thunberg, globally renowned for her environmental activism, continues to cast light on the complex relationship between the right to protest, the necessity of maintaining public order, and law enforcement in democratic societies. While democracy's essence lies in upholding freedom of speech and the right to protest, one can't overlook the concerns about the influences guiding Greta Thunberg. There's increasing belief among some factions that individuals or groups with self-serving interests are directing Thunberg's actions. These alleged handlers exploit Thunberg's passion for climate change to advance their agendas. This notion, combined with Thunberg's youth and global influence, raises questions about the genuineness of her activism and whether she's merely a pawn of more powerful entities. This contentious claim adds another dimension to the debate on climate activism and its representation. Now, as a 20-year-old adult, the dynamics of Thunberg's activism and the public's perception of her may change. As an adult, she might face heightened responsibility for her actions and decisions, intensifying scrutiny of her tactics and messaging. This new phase of her life may offer fresh opportunities for activism, even as it brings new challenges and complexities.